This is my current iOS 18 setup for my iPhone 16 Pro Max. Today, I'm going to be guiding you through how you can set this up yourself. I'll go over the wallpaper, icons, and widgets, and I'll show you how to seamlessly switch to a dark mode theme using focus modes. Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. There are a few things we need to do before we get started. First, download the Shortcuts app and the Widgey app. If you don't have these already, you need to download them. Next, you have to get the wallpaper, icons, and widgets for this setup. Thankfully, all of these are included in the Formless app icons pack by Loki. Formless creates a seamless, transparent illusion that makes your icons integrate smoothly with your screen's design. Inspired by the playful beginnings of macOS, Formless brings free phone design to your iPhone, redefining icons with elegance and originality. This is a paid pack, but Loki has graciously provided my followers with 25% off for a limited time. The link is in the video's description. For myself, I purchased the lifetime option because Loki frequently adds updates to icons and widgets. Once you've downloaded the pack, go ahead and save it into your files app. I use the iOS app. You'll need to uncompress the file by long pressing the zip file and selecting uncompress. The icons and widgets are two different compressed files, so you'll need to repeat the same steps for the widgets. Now we'll set up two wallpapers, a light wallpaper and a dark wallpaper. So you can easily switch between them using focus mode. First, open the wallpapers folder in the formless pack, tap the light wallpaper, press the send button and select save image to add it to the photos app. And you'll repeat the same steps for the dark wallpaper. At this point, both wallpapers should be saved in your Photos app. Next, open the light wallpaper in your Photos app, tap the send icon again, and select use as wallpaper. Configure your lock screen to however you like. I'll change my font to black. Next, tap add, and then select customize home screen. And we just want to make sure blur is turned off, then tap done. To set the dark wallpaper, repeat the exact same steps. Tap the send icon and select use as wallpaper, configure a lock screen, tap add, and then choose customize home screen. Ensure blur is turned off, then tap done. At this point, you should have both light and dark wallpapers ready for your lock screen and your home screen. Next, we'll set up transparent widgets using the Widgey app. Long press the screen, slide to the right to create a blank page, and take a screenshot of the light wallpaper. Then you'll switch to your dark wallpaper and repeat the same step for taking a screenshot of your dark wallpaper. We're taking these screenshots because Widgey uses them to create transparent widgets that blend perfectly with your wallpapers. Go to your home screen and we're going to remove all apps and widgets from your home screen. You don't have to fully delete them, we're just removing them from the home screen. After we do that, you'll long press the home screen and tap edit and then add widgets. Now scroll down to Widgey and we're going to add two different widgets. First, a small widget in slot number one. And you're gonna make sure once you add it that it's in the top left corner. Then we're gonna add a medium widget, also slot number one for medium widgets and make sure it's in the middle of the screen. All right, so what we're gonna do is swipe right and create another blank page. So long press your home screen, go to the right and we're going to repeat the same steps that we just did. So add a small widget, slot number one, put it in the top left corner and a medium widget slot number one in the middle of the screen. Now we have to import the widgets from the files app into Widgey. So go to your files app and open the formless widgets. You can tap the calendar widget and it will automatically import it into Widgey. And then you'll look for the hello widget and import that to Widgey as well. It's going to automatically do that for you. Now what we can just do is go back and tap the manage tab in Widgey. First, we'll assign the calendar widget to the small widget slot and the hello widget to the medium slot. Then you'll tap on setup transparency, select the wallpaper and add the light wallpaper screenshot that we took earlier. For dark mode, right beside it, just tap on that, select your dark mode wallpaper, then up at the top, just tap on the check mark. At this point, you should have a transparent calendar widget and a hello widget twice one for your light wallpaper and eventually one for dark. All right, now getting into adding icons. The formless pack comes with a variety of icons, so you're sure to find something perfect for your apps. All right, so let's start adding our custom icons. Open the shortcuts app and tap the plus icon more towards the top right. 
select open app and choose the app that you want to customize by tapping app. And then we're going to, for this example, choose the Bible app, tap the drop down arrow, choose add to home screen. Next, we can delete the name of the app if you want. I think it's a cleaner look in my opinion. And then select a custom icon by tapping the photo icon and choosing a file from the formless pack. What makes it really great in files is I can just search for, let's say Bible, and it'll find it a lot quicker for me. And select the Bible icon and then tap add and the icon will appear on your home screen. Now you'll have to repeat this process for every app you want to customize. If you're creating a dark mode home screen, you'll need to repeat these steps for the dark mode icons and add them to the second page where you set up your dark mode widgets. All right, so we should have a screen of all of our widgets and icons for light mode, and then another screen with all of our widgets and icons for dark mode. To prevent the dark mode home screen from appearing in light mode, long press the home screen, tap on the dots at the bottom of the screen, and uncheck the dark mode page then tap done. Now we'll use focus mode to switch between light and dark setups automatically. Go to settings, then focus and select dark mode. Tap the first one, which is the lock screen and choose the dark mode lock screen that we have in the pack. Then tap the second one, which is the home screen and select the dark mode home screen that we want to appear. Then let's go back to the home screen, open control center by swiping down at the top right corner and tap the focus mode button to activate dark mode. And there you have it. You can switch easily to a dark mode theme that has your apps just like you have with your light mode theme. At this point, you should have two wallpapers, light and dark set up, transparent widgets that blend seamlessly with your wallpapers, custom icons for both light and dark mode home screens, a focus mode configured to switch between light and dark modes. And one last thing, if you see the word widget appearing, all you have to do is long press the home screen, tap edit, go to customize and select large. And that'll take the word widget away from your home screen. So it looks a little bit more clean and minimalistic. And that's it. Enjoy your new iPhone setup. And don't forget to grab the formless pack with the discount linked in the description. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching, God bless, and I will see you on the next video.